Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for Twit Specials is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is Twit Special number 189, recorded February 24th, 2014, Samsung, the Unpacked 5 event. Welcome to Twit's special coverage of the Samsung Unpacked 5 event taking place right now in Barcelona at Mobile World Congress. Uh, with me is the one and only Leo Laporte hey. again. Good morning, Mike. Good morning. <laughs> again. Yes. And, uh, we were here last night for the Nokia event until right. about 12.45 a.m. Uh, our that's time. That's right. That's right. And that was, that was a, an actually surprisingly interesting event. Uh, Samsung may be more interesting. They may be uh, coming out with even more colossal announcements. Well, let's introduce our guest. Are we going to have Harry and uh, we Harry are. McCracken is going to be joining us from Times uh, uh, Magazine's uh, Techland uh, blog. And uh, I'm really pleased that Andy Anako, yeah. Technologizer. Yeah. And Andy Anako is also going to be here from uh, uh, the Chicago Sun-Times. That's right. And, uh, Mac breaks yes. weekly. You know, uh, the Nokia event really set a, I think, set a very good bar for brevity. It was 45 minutes. That's right. Uh, I think for content, I think Stephen Elop uh, did a great job of not only explaining the new Android-based um, uh, phones, the Nokia X, X Plus, and XL uh, phones, but also of positioning them in the overall line, going from the very lowest end to 220, which they also announced, to the highest 1020. Um, I think Nokia did a great job last night. And, I think it, it, it actually sets the bar for Samsung, which is notoriously bad for its events. That's right. And there's a possibility that they could, you know, I, I was left with the after the Nokia event with a good feeling about Nokia and about their yes. strategy and everything. Yeah. And and I may Unlike have... Unlike Paul Thorat, by the right, way. That's right. That's <laughs> right. He was not so happy. No. Uh, and uh, yeah, so he's a little grumpy today about the whole thing uh, on Twitter. But, um, but you know, um, there's no way... This is my first prediction. There's no way Samsung is going to hit the brevity mark on this well, one. Well, already a bad sign. They have a live orchestra yeah, for right. this event, and there she is playing. <laughs> the event is being streamed live, and I encourage you, if you don't want our commentary, to watch the live event all by itself because we will be talking over it. Um, that's what we feel uh, adds the value to this. They had uh, to pull some strings to get to, to be the <laughs> house. <laughs> Look, nice. at, that is a that is a big string section. One, two, three, four. About nine violins, uh, maybe a viola or two. And here we go. Samsung unpacked five mobile world. All right, we do oh, have Andy on the room. line as well. Jason Hell also with us, of course. It is Ooh. a big room. Look at that. Much bigger than the Nokia event. There was yeah. a lot of standees at the Nokia event because there was barely enough space. That's right. Samsung tends to do these over the top, as you remember from the Galaxy S4 announcement. That's right. Wild, widely reviled, and it looks like they're going to do it again. Oh, That's my God. Lots of free attention. You, you know, this would be great if, if somebody drones on with their speech, they could play them off like the Oscars. <laughs> Andy Anako joining us. I hear the dulcet tones, the baritone. <laughs> Hi, Andy. Hey, guys. Yeah, it's, we're, we're keynote day three for uh, Mobile World Congress. Yeah, <laughs> actually, this is the first full day of Mobile World right. Congress. It's amazing how much has already happened. Barely beginning. Yeah, I, I, I wonder if we're going to see a similarity between this and the closing ceremonies of the Winter Olympics last night. We're, it's probably going to be about as on message <laughs> as far as Samsung goes. I think they have a bigger orchestra. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is that the moon coming up? Or no, that's the guy's hair. Okay. <laughs> We've got Stakowski uh, conducting the orchestra back from uh, the grave. He, I, this is ridiculous. So the Note 3 announcement because, also had an orchestra, a QNX monkey tells me. Because it's so clear this is not for us. This is for... This Who is, is this for, for everybody with... Yeah, th th I mean, this, is, this is for consumers. This is for little sound bites to get as much attention on the web as possible all at once. So this is probably going to be at least 72% content free. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you saw Nokia's event last night. Mike and I covered that live uh, in the middle of the night. For you, it was 2.30 yeah. a.m. But it was great. It was yeah. content rich. It was quick. Small they didn't overdo room. it with the demos. It was just about I think right. I, and I, I also think that if you have this event in a small room, that contains the energy of the announcement, and it really encourages everybody on stage to get through this quickly, get to your points, and get off the stage. Yeah. A, a, a barn like this, who, who knows who's listening, so your pacing is completely off. Yeah. I have uh, I brought, brought to uh, the show today the Galaxy S4, which 
I, uh, I've owned several of and I've used for uh, some time, um, but really don't like because of all the cruft on it. Yep. One of the things I'll be watching with uh, interest is to see if, A, if Samsung's allowed it, the stuff to be uninstalled, the Korea, South Korean law says it. You know, but I think that. that only covers Korea, Korean sales. Maybe. I think not, you know, and, but they also made a deal with Google about like sort of toning down the interface. Right. And, uh, and we'll see what comes of that. We, we don't know the, the specifics of that. I'm a fan of the Note 3. I, I yeah. love the Note, the Note 2 because of the size, because of the stylus. Um, but again, it really put me off, touch whiz and all the extra stuff they put on there. It's, you know, the, the Samsung phones are much like the Samsung events, overblown, yep. full of stuff you don't want. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's worse, a similarity here. Yeah, and worse, these are both going to be obsolete in about an hour. Oh, please. So thank goodness for yeah, Gazelle. I spent a lot of money on these, I'll tell you. We now have Harry McCracken on the line as well. Hey, Harry, welcome. Hey, folks, how are you? Great. Great. So glad to have you. Really en enjoyed uh, Techland lately, uh, especially covering the WhatsApp uh, acquisition. Your uh, graph of similar smaller acquisitions was, <laughs> was quite amazing. There are no similar acquisitions. <laughs> there are only ones that are like a tenth the size. But when you say that the next one on the graph, the next biggest one, smaller than the WhatsApp app, is, is uh, HP acquiring Ross Perot's EDS, you get a <laughs> sense of the size of that acquisition. <laughs> Anyway, yeah. glad to have you. What do you expect tonight uh, or today, Harry? I mean, we've all seen a bunch of rumors about the uh, fingerprint scanner and an extremely high resolution. Uh, but I think you guys are right. I mean, I'm very curious about kind of the software situation with the phone. And uh, Samsung's instinct is usually to pile on more and more features. Uh, they're already at a point where their phones are sort of bursting at the seams with features. And... Uh, I'd love to see an emphasis on quality as well as quantity of stuff. Do you want? Uh, do you have any uh, a reading of tea leaves uh, around their trailer video that they came out with that seemed to indicate outdoor activity, even underwater <laughs> stuff? Uh, are you reading anything into that? Well, waterproof would be cool, um, and it certainly is possible to make good waterproof phones. And uh, there is a waterproof, so, uh, the, the active Galaxy S4 right. active. Yeah. Yep, yep. And of course, Sony uh, is. Sony makes them. Uh, the Xperia. Does that. Yep, yep. Um, so that's doable, and that is a feature that would benefit almost anybody, even people who are just going to spill their soft drinks at the office. I think that's really mostly what it's for, although I just saw a statistic float through the chat room uh, earlier this uh, hour that 19% of all users have dropped their phone into a toilet at one time or another. Yeah, right. <laughs> you should always have a giant sack of ra rice in the bathroom. <laughs> have you ever dropped your phone in a toilet? I believe I have. I have it's as well. So that's 50%. Harry, uh, Andy? Uh, I... Never. I dropped my PDA into a into a bathtub. It's kind of comparable. So now we know and, about waterproof. It's, it's easier to retrieve uh, psychologically. <laughs> and and Andy, you're the outlier. You're the 25 percent who has never moistened a phone. Well, I, I don't go to the bathroom. Oh, that's uh, it. That explains I've, it. You I are have an alternative you're an mechanism. Android. Yeah. No, you don't go to the bathroom in the bathroom. <laughs> that's why it never falls in the toilet. He's got an outhouse. That's right. <laughs> Uh, still so more symphonic. What's the yeah. deal? Why See, are the, they? The, the, the no, you know what? There's that, oh, sorry. The problem here is that Samsung announces so many products on so many platforms and commits to so few of them that if they show us 19 things today, the question is going to be which one of them is actually going to have an impact three months from now. Right. So this is this is probably going to be the least interesting event of this entire week. We all cover this space, and I doubt any of us can name all of the Samsung yeah, no. Galaxy phones. I Can't mean. Or features, no <laughs> right? Or There's, software or features, features for that matter. Let phone. alone yeah. consumers. Yeah. I, I they're, think they're the gamblers who have a chip on every single square on the roulette table. They bet on anything. I right. feel like what Samsung is doing right now, what we're watching with this orchestra playing this full symphonic piece, is they're trying to erase your memory of the cheesy, like, <laughs> right. like a uh, Broadway musical that they had. And they're like, no, see, we can be classy. That's oh, right. Look at this. There's no, an orchestra. See, like, or they want our sympathy. Still, we're losing market still, share. It's still Samsung. I bet, like, the, yeah. the female flute player is going to be, oh, dear, I have to cancel my nail appointment, but I can't leave the bandstand. <laughs> Could one of you male cello players help me out? <laughs> uh, Andy calling back to the S4 uh -huh. uh, announcement. Uh, I have to say that it's been a long day at Mobile World Congress. It's 7 o'clock in the evening in Barcelona. I would guess that half the audience is about now uh, yeah, dozing right. off. Maybe they have a new app for to help you sleep or something, and this is a way to sort of demonstrate the benefits of sleep. Can we just hear, is this the Samsung jingle? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> Reporters are snoring in their seats right now. The excitement in the room is palpable, well, or no, non-existent. No. 
This Apple gives us the, the music at the end. It's live elevator music. It's not even good classical music. Now a lot of strings. Under, I mean, they're, air skate. they're in Barcelona. They should have had, like, flamenco dancers and, like, crank the thing up. Get the energy. Maybe out. they will. A little audio pick up yeah, on you, Harry. Harry I'm we're going to give some you some buzz on you. Maybe we can call him back real quick. Yeah, I'll give you a call okay. right back. Yeah. Now, they have made some announcements. The uh, new Gear 2 yes. watch, which is based on not Android, Tizen. It's an odd choice. Well, it also might be a shot across Google's bow. Yeah. You know, but really, it's the they, one 1.0 release of, of, of an operating system, so hopefully that won't scuttle that, the benefits of the watch. That's exactly the sort of product you'd put a 1.0 into. It's it's a small product. People right. don't know what to expect from it, and people are probably not going to buy it. It's good. It's a good shakedown cruise for something like that. Oh, now Lord. They're, now they're <laughs> going Track into two. The, All right. Second. Who wasn't in the crowd who asked for an encore? <laughs> Bravo! They, they, I wonder if they're having technical was it difficulties. Gizmodo? It was you. It wasn't a Gizmodo. They're they, in the back. I thought you had the Galaxy S5. Where I thought no. They're I thought already you had ten it. minutes late, so it's maybe incredible. they are. Um, is I can't remember if Samsung is known for punctuality. Maybe we have the wrong feed. Maybe this is the you know Philharmonic. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Wait a minute. My bad. <laughs> At least this is a little more bouncy. Yeah, it's slightly more up tempo. Is this a ringtone? Is this something Samsung-y? I don't really recognize it, but... There's probably not a lot to say about this because we're a lot, a lot new. Yeah, We've seen already images of the S5. We've seen a I'm, lot about it. I'm, tell, I'm telling you, a Samsung keynote event is like a David Lynch movie. You can obsess over the imagery and the meaning when the, when the real, realization is that they just thought it would be cool. They had the footage. They had the people. They <laughs> we, just, we got the money. Yeah, they have the money. In fact, wow. the way Samsung does its uh, marketing budget is tied directly to revenue. So the huge success of the Galaxy <laughs> phones is driving this kind of thing. They've got a lot of money to spend. Yep. Um, and they're then damn well going to spend it one on, way or the other. On orchestras. Any thoughts about which celebrities? Will we see the British ge uh, gear guy that uh, he's been hosting the Galaxy events, last couple of Galaxy events, the bald guy with the white glasses? Was a little over enthusiastic, or how will they go somewhere else? Have you guys made any Michael Bay jokes yet? Not yet. <laughs> Michael Bay, of course, at CES uh, uh, with the Samsung uh, curved television set, lost the prompter, ran off stage in humiliation and tears. This is really that the strangest exciting, thing. I mean, that was real. That was at least that, that was, was real. Planned. Yeah, yeah. This is the strangest thing that they have this classical music going on and on for 12 minutes now. I mean, the, the people there are in Barcelona. They've come from all over the world to go to Barcelona in the evening. They want to go yeah. get drunk and have tapas and, 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 yeah. and, and enjoy the city. And they're sitting there listening to this fairly long concert. It's I'm hoping long also, I'm, also I'm the cellist making, just drops his cello and walks out. Yeah, like yeah, Chris Rock. Yeah. Right. They're making us all hate beautifully performed classical music. Yeah. For that. <laughs> we should not forgive it's them. It's beautifully performed. I don't know what kind of music this is. You were at uh, Barcelona last year. Last year, yeah. Mike, so you yeah. probably have a pretty good sense of what the delegates feel. 75,000 delegates yeah. this year, 9,500 press. That's right. This is a big event. The press room there was just, it was like a trade show unto itself. It's really a phenomenal coverage. And lots and lots of people, lots of very nicely dressed people. The Europeans go to these shows fully decked out in suits and ties. It's very impressive. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, well, that's why we both wear jackets. <laughs> that's right. Today. That's Andy, Andy, are you wearing pants? pants? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> We're still having trouble with uh, Harry uh, and his... Uh, <laughs> Oof. Yeah, you need a new headset or maybe uh, maybe we'll just try... Yeah. Cool. Press uh, buy it now. Buy it now. But the... Uh, Are we yeah. hearing nothing from... Is the, or the orchestra just stop or... Ah! Yeah, they oh, see. There we go. <laughs> it, We've been waiting for this start. moment for the last 20 minutes. Here we oh. go. Four. Three. Those aren't seconds. God knows we're on tender hooks right now. Two. Those are slow seconds. These are giant screens on the stage. One counting down to... They're just calibrating the color monitors. An ad. Happy, smiling Here, let me translate. people. Go ahead, Andy. We're so excited about the new phone, and we prepared a little video that we'd like to share with you now. <laughs> I know I'm not much of a photographer. Duh. Because I'm a dame and all. Turn out amazing. Yeah. I'm no fitness expert. I can tell. But I play but one on TV. You're so lucky. So this is uh, interesting. 
They're saying this is for Fashion regular people. Everything. That's right. You're going to have a beautiful life. You get but a Samsung phone. I express phone. myself in my own unique way. By painting my body blue and dancing. Even at the speed of life, I can still live life at my own pace. I don't know what that means. Okay, good read. Uh, we want to rehearse it a couple more times before we record this down, uh, but we got the room for the 10 minutes. I'm sorry. I, I promised not to MST3K There's this entire thing. <laughs> For all the things that make life even better. Doing this in CinemaScope, I think they Ladies they and gentlemen, done this in from marketing team Samsung Electronics headquarters, please give a warm welcome to David Park. It says episode one, which is again giving me chills. Oh, oh good. Not scene, in a good way. Scene one, yes. This is going to be a long day, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Sit back, get yourself a Tom, beer. Tom Hanks better be making your parents to save this. Hello, everyone. I am a tiny For person. For those with us in oh. Barcelona, and the rest of the world viewing our live stream. Welcome. This is Samsung Unpacked 2014. The Phantom Menace. Applause. Applause. And of course, let's appreciate the Barcelona Opera House Chamber Orchestra. It's a big chamber. Please get a free phone. So this is a fantastic time for us to be together. The way we live day to day is constantly changing. And more than ever, new exciting opportunities are within our grasp. We're very excited to show you tonight innovative devices that fit with our time. Devices designed and built to enhance our daily experiences. By placing the world in our hands, yeah, see, they free us to live life. Compare to this its to an Apple keynote. Yeah. They start with And now with to facts. share with you Samsung's vision, please Pretty welcome President and CEO, Head of the IT and Mobile Communications Division, Mr. J.K. Shin. I'm not the guy, oh, I'm the guy who introduces the guy. Right. <laughs> Getting their money's worth of that orchestra. It's like a really low budget version of the Oscars. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and everybody is the Price Waterhouse executives. Yes. <laughs> don't hold for applause. We don't care. Show us the phone. <laughs> and to all of you who are joining us around the world, it is great seeing you in Barcelona, the hometown of a mobile innovation. Our industry continues to set the standard of Is what Barcelona the hometown of mobile innovation? No, no. They have great absinthe. Yeah. 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 is so fabulous. Fantastic. I don't know if it's the hometown of mobile innovation. Maybe once a year during the show. Several years. I enjoyed their metro. <laughs> Samsung has been one of the major Lovely contributors metro. of right this high growth. Yes, I know that the ones on the left look a lot like the, the iPhone. S3 <laughs> has been a key driver <laughs> of rapid <laughs> smartphone growth. Let me take a moment to say. Take all the time you want. I we have no problem with glossy user interfaces and Chrome. 200 million customers around the world who have chosen our Galaxy S devices. Did you say a billion customers? 200 million. 200 million. We are very grateful. And we know that we only succeed when customers choose us. This guy's Mr. Dynamic. We know that we yeah, must continue. They always bring him out, of course, because he's the CEO. That's right. Uh, usually, are people who buy our phones. Yeah. How can we continue? Our usage to level own is almost 100% among people <laughs> in who this use our ever services. changing <laughs> dynamic industry. JK Tautology. People are easily CEO excited of about technology breakthroughs. That shot. Proving that the only thing that makes you look dorky like taking a picture with a tablet is taking a picture with a your watch. company, <laughs> we are very keen on the newest and the latest technology development as well. They'll get Mr. Shin off the stage but pretty quickly, I think. After all... Oh, your audio is going again. Still losing you, Harry. I, I don't know exactly what's going on. But. And relevant. Yeah, your audio keeps yeah, Harry on the getting phone. all garbled. Harry, you need to pay Comcast for a direct connection. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We all do. Once the further evolution always changes the world. 
That's the meaningful innovation. Mr. Mike asks How really the know? most important question of the uh, afternoon. The Will there be a tap dancing kid this year? Yeah, I hope so. I hope so. And what we have learned... So far, he hasn't given a single fact that's no. of any yeah. And that's Andy's point, is is really this is just All marketing. Apple yeah. dives in and they, they, get to, they, they feel as though they have to earn that two minutes of saying, we feel as though we exist at the intersection of the arts and the human, the arts and, and, and engineering. We, help, we are helping improving people's lives with technology, but they have to do that after saying, here's what we're up to and here are facts, facts, facts. Right. Yep. We are so over this by now. And at least, at least we are. At least the fact-based part that preceded it had beautiful music in it. Now this is just an executive in a suit, albeit yeah. a nice one. The real question is: Will they get to an actual feature or fact in an amount of time that is less than the total Nokia yeah. event last night? By by, by <laughs> eleven thirty. Okay, yeah. so okay, so we're we're seeing some data here. Stay fit is now one of their high bullet points things. And life. So they've been, life's they've important. Been, they've been copying the, wrong, the right rumors they've been reading over the past year and a half. <laughs> uh, both the Galaxy S4 and the Galaxy Note 3 have a Samsung uh, branded fitness app that does yeah. things like a pedometer and Samsung track calories. Galaxy S5. Here we go. Here we, the S5. Here we go. It uh, looks like a TV commercial. Ooh, it's gold. It, uh, I've got to read They're this. It does have their plastic back, but it's textured plastic. As this is the these are the images that we saw earlier. Uh, yeah. No, that's There's... just the remote control for the actual phone. <laughs> you know, roughly the same. It looks like they've replaced the back with a textured plastic. It looks like it's full of like holes, like it's upholstered yeah. or something. Yeah. I hope it feels better because the four just felt so cheap. Yeah. They're very big on that changing up. They think people like the removable battery. And, uh... I agree. I, yeah. It's important to me. Looks like there's ser a serious camera. And he's uh, got it in the watch pocket of his blue jeans. Doesn't oh, look no, terribly sorry. thin, which I like. Gallops. You don't like it so That's thin. Fine. No, I, I like I, exactly. I think if you make it thicker, you can do yeah. better things with it. Boy, that's a big room. I'd say several thousand people in there. I wonder if that's the same room where Zuckerberg spoke. Right. Samsung Galaxy S5 comes with the full LTE coverage with the support of Category 4. I'm surprised that uh, Mr. Shin is actually doing the feature yeah. set. Most stable yeah. Wi-Fi performance. AC on the Wi-Fi, MIMO well, he, as well. He's so, he's so dynamic. <laughs> and Wi-Fi MIMO. The Galaxy S5 also support smart bonding for Wi-Fi and LTE to create smart what? even faster. I think smart bonding. Bond bonding. Bonding, I believe. Yeah, this is the ability uh, the to do Wi-Fi calling, which both T-Mobile and uh, Republic Wireless like to do. It gives the consumers the top three. It's an interesting camera yeah. array. Yeah. Camera. HDR. Nice bank of things. Are those like, it looks like three flashes or something? Focus. Like, what is multicolor flash. Enriched color with advanced HDR. With Improved user experience. One thing the uh, Note 3 did that the Sony's Galaxy playing catch up on is 4K video. Right. Sony's new Z2 fit. does that. Yeah, but these dedicated. Yeah, but I don't know if people actually care about 4K, especially on mobile. No. A hairy leg is not a good backdrop. <laughs> to provide consumers with the best personalized experience, we have built in. A Heart rate sensor. At this point, I'm saying heart bring rate. Jason Braid Bradley back. Heart rate sensor. Let's. <laughs> that has a heart rate sensor. Yeah. Fitness coaching services. Do you have to wear a strap? Gear can be tailored to each user. You can jog with it held under your armpit. To yeah. make it even more useful. There you go. They should harvest the heart rate of the audience next year when they do the keynote. IP67 water and dust. Water and dust resistant. That's good stuff. There it is. Pause for 19 percent. Yeah. Samsung. Yeah, with those annoying flip out port covers. Yeah. Although some, you know, uh, there are ones that don't have the covers, so it is doable. Yeah. Also, water resistant isn't what people are looking for. It's not waterproof, it's water right. resistant. You, you, right. Waterproof usually means submersible because right. it can resist the pressure of the water around it. Right. I want resistant a phone, means getting caught in the rain. I want a phone that climbs out of the toilet by itself. Even if it's submersible in a lot <laughs> of cases, though. What's that, Harry? It, even if it is um, submersible, they still call it water resistant in a lot of cases. Okay. So it's about depth, how deep it can go, I guess. Useful features. The Galaxy S5 has a unique perforated pattern. It is modern. I'm going to have to translate here. That's a unique perforated 
a Better. variety of color options. It's full of holes. Each you and just yet it's still waterproof. Lots of color. Like Resist. a golf ball, when so you throw it at the wall in frustration, you'll get a lot of loft. A great complement to our new gear device. Samsung's gear portfolio Here we go. has three Smart new watches. editions. Three. We saw two, a low end and a high end. Apparently has a drum machine, which is yeah, nice. That's yeah, a, that's a nice feature. I think actually that would be good to watch. Do people oh, really fitness. train with medicine balls now? They oh, yeah. Do, they do. CrossFit, oh, huge. Yeah. Indian clubs? Yeah. CrossFit. Yep. They're back, baby. Yep. Ooh, curved Ooh. glass. Oh, there it is. Gear fit. This is uh, new. Yep. We haven't seen this before. It's a thin bracelet style. Smart like watch. the Huawei, you were talking about this on TNT, right. like the Huawei. They exactly. the next generation of the uh, smart wearables, designed to balance individual style with the personal life and connectivity needs. And now with less Samsung nickel, which is right. that's exciting. Samsung right. to new are chic, personal devices that help consumers manage their lives using a wide range of features. Ladies and gentlemen, this is interesting. That looks cool. Uh, yeah. There's a camera the on the back. That would be a probably the heart rate monitor. Fit. Yeah, probably exactly. Or perhaps more. It's much more attractive than the clunky, boxy watches like the Pebble right. and the Gear. That's right. This, this is the Gear Fit. This is something you could like wear. The, it looks like a lot of the mock-ups of the iPhone you see about. The exactly. Yeah. It has an iconic design. It's Sorry, curved. The yeah. Yeah. Well, focused on that design stylish looks like it's saying absolutely no to women's wrists. It is That's going to look really weird on a smaller wrist. That fits perfectly on your wrist. If your wrist is exactly 48 the millimeters gear around. Will be an ideal That's method right. To check if, your if your angle of arc of your wrist is precisely 33 right. degrees, you will love this That's the watch. target audience. <laughs> so if you need to gain a lot of weight to get one of those really <laughs> round wrists, right. it'll be worth it. I do have to say this. It, I, I like the Huawei. I do think this is a good choice. It's, it's, it's a really curb-friendly design, I'll say that. It, it's it's in the category, but it looks like it's on the high end of the category. Mm -hmm. It's got a pretty good screen and so on. Unlike Open is critical, too, and, and cooperative. They're going to really contrast that with anything Apple does, which right. is likely Apple-specific. Completely closed. I hope the battery life is better than on the, even the new Galaxy Gears, which is still only two or three days. ...of our commitment and our vision. I promise you... A lot of these wearables... I mean, you're going to have to train people to use these new devices, not right. just like the right. interface, but here's how, here's your relationship with a, a watch that only lasts four days on battery. Right. Here's how careful you have to be with it. I want to point out that they did not mention a fingerprint reader on the S5. I don't know if that mm -hmm. means it's absent, but I would guess they would have announced it. Thank you. That's right. Thank you very okay, that's leaving. it for J.K. Shin. There we go. Uh, we're going to probably bring out the British guy with the funny yep. glasses now. This is our special or the report, kid. Uh, live report on the Samsung Unpacked 5 event taking place right now at Mobile now, World Congress. Let's dive deeper to get a good look at how these new devices truly deliver on the five aspects that consumers care about most. To do this, I'd like to invite to the stage Vice President of the European Telecommunication Operations, Jean-Daniel Aim. How many senior executives does Samsung have named David? <laughs> they have at least two major. Is that something to take note of? We've, we started off in South Korea, now we're in Europe. I think that is, actually, because uh, this is important for Samsung to emphasize they're a global yep. yeah. company, not a Korean. Thank you, David. Okay. And also maybe even to localize the news clips they're sending out. It's a pleasure to be with you again. The Verge is saying we'll have a fingerprint reader. We'll have to see. It's at the yeah. heart of Samsung and in the hands of our customers every time they use our <laughs> is that Galaxy your customer? Edge devices. No. <laughs> we are so customer? proud of the fact our smartphones positively impact everyday lives. I don't want and to be jingoistic, but can we get somebody that speaks English? Customers <laughs> this is, this is a global marketplace for right, a global right. audience. This then is speak, why. yeah, then While speak we a language. Do it in French, then, please. We focused on understanding One of the cool things about Mobile World Congress is, is that it's in English, but extremely international. Right, yes. So. Everybody's speaking English as a second language there. And as you'll see tonight, 
When it comes to the voice of our customers, we are listening. This is, it's pronounced First, customers. Please we listen. We hear you want Yo. a device to fit your modern lifestyle, designed with a glam a, look. A glam, a glam look. look. <laughs> oh, Lord. Digital. David Bowie would love this. It's the Ziggy Stardust this. phone. Oh, yeah. Lord. <laughs> we glam, really? You want a great who says glam? That is simple People who speak English as a second language. Glam? You want the fastest network. So in the blink of an eye, you're sharing beautiful photos around the world. Four, you want your device to be protected for your lifestyle. Aha, uh -huh. okay, scanner. Secure. Yep. And five, we hear you want to stay fit. Well, they really emphasize And you'd the love your smartphone yeah, to help you do that. I think that's a, a sensible. We yep. hear you. Now, let's see how these five qualities live in the Galaxy S5. You want to stay fit and, and you want to be glam. To the basics helped us drive innovation in a direction that makes sense for our customers. It's a pretty cool looking phone, actually. Well, our customers want design to be urban, dynamic, versatile. Customers and want to know be urban. from morning to night or even through the night that their it's, smartphone it's urbane. is right there. Urbane. Is it urbane? Is that what he was yeah. going yeah. for? Yeah. Yeah. Urban is, does have a different meaning in the U.S. Our customers don't want to be country goobers. They want to live in a big city. A smartphone has never felt better. It's glam and urban. <laughs> Notice that the screen lit up automatically when he took it out of his pocket? Ah. Yes. Did he, did he tap anything or did that just happen? Uh, no, it happened, it happened with... Uh, is the heart of its modern the other guy too. Look, yeah. A result of this unique very Moto X-ish. So maybe one of those things in the this back is a light sensor. Is yep. Electric That's... blue. Do you see how it catches the light? <laughs> yes, five. We see how it captures the light. White, a charcoal black and <laughs> you know what else captures light? A camera. Tell us about the camera. Hitler. Oh, I'm sorry. They really are proud this of this perforated bag. Yeah. One gorgeous device. It looks like a oh, surface wow. of a Oh, Nicholas Kirkwood so, and Moschino I mean, designs. That's cool. Didn't the, uh, the two, three, and four all basically look the same? This is like the first time they've done a real change to the industrial design in yeah. years. Yeah, and interchangeable bags. So it's Clean it's very and vibrant user experience. <laughs> and glam. With a unique geometric pattern inspired by the prism effect of diamonds. Do you see the new unlocking effect here? Yeah. Hmm. The overall look is clearly simple. Yeah, and I see touch whiz. Um, when but you there, toggle you, the settings. You see the influence here, of those of lock screen apps that are becoming more and more important on Round icons? Larger, yes. More yeah, they're all round. And easier to oh, yeah. navigate. Take that out. Want Apple. your favorite app right at the tip of your finger? Our one touch toolbox is here for you. Now let's that take is a, a closer look. They, they are targeting a weak point for iOS there, device. which is, and the which is just a really 1994 level launcher uh, and yeah. home screen. Mm -hmm. Five point one you, you inches, uh, 1080p Super AMOLED. A superior viewing experience, ever brighter than TFT LCD. That's going to test some people. Five point one is a handful for a lot of people. Noob in the chat room says the IP67 rating means submerged in three feet of water for up to 30 minutes. Okay. Analyze and segment the display. How about if there's pee in that water? <laughs> what is local? So when you will use your Galaxy S5 in the blazing sun of Barcelona, it'll be clearer and easier to see. That's but we thought about the opposite situation too. That's been on Nokia Windows You can phones. now make your display Super extremely dim. More than ever before. Can we have the display? Dimmest phone. Oh, God. Dim. <laughs> Every <laughs> Apple blogger is now saying, hey, they promised the dimmest phone ever made. We already knew that <laughs> same thing. Why would you Adaptive tout that? <laughs> our enhanced display technology analyzes the incoming light. This actually is an important feature in, in terms of battery life. You, don't, you want the display to be exactly bright enough to read, experience. but no brighter. And I think for battery life, that's key. And what he's saying now is that the that the light sensors detect the nature of the light that you're that's in the room, and it adjusts the screen colors and so on. Twenty eight hundred milliamp hours. That is a big battery. Yep. Mm -hmm. Ten hours web browsing. Ten hours music playback or video playback. They're claiming. Tw yeah, twelve hours of video playback. So you need two of them if you're going to watch Twit live twenty four hours a day. That's good.
That's a big yeah. battery, and it's interchangeable, still, of course. So. It, right, still looks like an interchangeable yeah. battery. Makes you also wonder what else they've got in there that's going to be drawing so much power they had no choice but to make sure that, that that's a killer battery. If the resolution is unbelievably high, that will definitely yeah. drain up. For comparison, the Note 3, I think, is, I'm going to have to open it up, I think 3,100 milliamp okay. hours. Let's move on the camera now. Here we go, camera. Oh, yeah. Same <laughs> jazz. Quiet Your call storm. is important to us. <laughs> is so clear on this. The camera is core. Sony Z2 has the a 3,200 milliamp hour battery. Fast out of focus According technology. Fast autofocus, HDR, mode, HDR pictures and videos, selective focus. And new other features oh. like selective focus. As, like just like focus bracketing every other smartphone. Pictures. I, that, well, selective focus. But if, if they mean like focus bracketing so you can recompose. Like a Lytro. Yeah, that would be intriguing. Well, probably, just, probably not just like Elytra, but probably like like what Nokia is doing with a focus bracketing, or or, or like the Moto X, where you just simply move Tap the it. focus thing and yeah. then take the picture. With a technology you I in professional DSLRs called phase, phase detection. detection. Oh, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. oh, that's very new. Yeah. Phase is very fast. That's a that's a good way to do it. Olympus is really selling that hard as one of the big features yep. of their fourteen hundred dollar camera, for instance. Yep. That's right. So users get increased precision faster response time, and a much more exciting camera experience. So no matter how quickly your subject moves, be it pigeons circling La Sagrada Familia or your kids winning goal, you'll be able to capture the moment in La just 0.3 seconds. La Sagrada Familia is the still unfinished seconds. Gaudi this Cathedral in Barcelona. This is the fastest right. ever autofocus for a smartphone. Goal. What is this goal? Is is it that uh, that soccer I've heard about on the internet? What is that? Well, let's talk about high Foot. dynamic range. What we call rich tone. 0.3 seconds. As you know, HDR is a solution for taking good photos when there is too little or too much light. But to get satisfactory results, you know you have to remain stable. Very stable. And it takes precious time to process the images too. So how is our new rich tone mode better? Well, it instantly controls the light exposure at the moment you focus to give you in real time a picture. I have to point out this is a feature that the iPhone light. introduced with the so iPhone 4. Yeah, but if they do it, they're, they're saying they're doing it live so that you yeah. can actually see the effects as you go. So the viewfinder shows you the mm. HDMR, HDR. I, that is a difference, of course. Yeah. The big sell of HDR images. here is yeah, if, if, it's, if the camera can in, in, on its own decide that this needs HDR, I'm going to put that in automatically. As opposed to making a switch you have to locate right. and then turn on. That's a big deal. Right. You shouldn't have to worry about it. Also, that's a lot of processing power to simply do it as a matter of course, as opposed to at the uh, user's bidding. They have an enhanced oh, here, we go. Now, here we go, select a focus. Allowing you to apply this kind of out of focus effect. Yeah, see, there you go. Like a pro. And that's in that's software, the, presumably. This is a cool way. Right, yeah. that's, that's so like Nokia's fake, feature. Fake Lytro. Fake Lytro. Yeah. But maybe good. Or, or, or actually useful Lytro. <laughs> Selective blur. <laughs> fake, fake and useful. That our customers will but it's great because sometimes you really do want to have the, the landmark that's behind you in sharp focus as well as the foreground, and you can't do that with... Uh, with the the way that the folk the little lens is set up, so that's actually a really cool feature. It's definitely ready for its close up, but it's not enough to be beautiful. You got to be fast. Samsung makes its own Your chips, weight. the Exynos, uh, and in uh, a lot of it, the world uses it's the Exynos. One thing. Here, it usually uses a Snapdragon. As our mobile experience advances, we need the fastest network to sustain high traffic volume. The Verge is saying availability so in April on all four U.S. carriers. LTE coverage supporting category four and up to eight bands in any given region. This allows remarkable data connection with every carrier. Beside coverage, we all want faster network speed, no more buffering. That's why we've combined the fifth generation of Wi-Fi with the new MIMO technology to nearly double Wi-Fi connection speeds. And this also is a world first in smartphones. 
MIMO requires multiple antennas. It's a fairly expensive thing, I would imagine, yeah. to implement in a phone. The download booster marries this enhanced Wi-Fi connection with LTE. And this combination will give you blazing fast download like never before. So combining Wi-Fi and LTE in the same download, they split the first file. thing a lot of us will turn off yeah. because, of course, of bandwidth caps. Yeah. yeah. That's the bonding, oh. yeah. presumably. Yeah. And when you're using both antennas at the same time, is that more of a battery drain? With apps has got to yeah. be, right? Yep. Should be. How much carrier influence, uh, involvement is going to be required to make this work? I think the carriers want you to use their bandwidth, right? Well. And as everything moves more quickly, you want your device to be protected. Sa Samsung does a lot of things where it's a great demo, but then when you get into the real world, it's just so impractical to use, you turn it off. Absolutely. So that's, that's why I'm thinking about that. Electronics, yeah. electronics don't mix. This so is a huge deal. Like when this is what will sell phones. On your phone, or you is this better than the Active the or the same as the Active? What is the waterproof rating of the Galaxy S4 Active? But this is not a problem. I don't anymore. think it is because submersible. The Galaxy S5 is water and dust resistant. Dust resistant. Um, we thought the protection was going to be the fingerprint reader, but they're saying Still the protection yeah. references to water and dust. Right. Yeah, I mean, they're not encouraging you to take it into the pool, which they would if it was. Uh, which is, what the, which is what drop the Sony into a puddle, Drop into a toilet, yes. Yeah, Sony encourages you to go underwater and take pictures underwater. They're not yeah. saying that. Yeah, if, if they had a fingerprint reader, that seems like something they would at least nod to earlier mm -hmm. in the presentation. Yeah, they did lay out the roadmap. It. The yeah. Verge is saying they have one, but... Uh, okay. Maybe, it's, could, maybe that's the rumor. Maybe it's their one more thing. I've, I've started off by saying that Samsung doesn't run these things very well, so yeah. I shouldn't be overthinking it. Ultra power saving mode. Maybe they're still working on it and they're going to... How have it done by the end of the presentation. Your phone <laughs> still, at a critical they're still moment. trying to find that one executive that's, that's fingerprints are actually working on it, getting him sobered up, <laughs> getting him into a clean suit. <laughs> we just need your thumb. We don't need you. So with no time to go home, I was frantically looking for a charger. <laughs> <laughs> that is a, is that like a sexual impotence drug <laughs> warning that they've got behind them? This is a stressful situation. <laughs> Warning, using the waterproofing might lead to premature baldness if there are young people inside crowds keep away from the fingerprint center until after 7 p.m. Don't feed your Samsung Galaxy after dark. If your battery lasts more than seven hours, call a doctor. <laughs> so, for example, if my Galaxy S5 is down to only 10% of battery, it can still last up to 24 hours in standby. By doing nothing. Oh, no, they're it, turning it off like all antennas. Like the screen, they're taking advantage of a low-power mode on that screen, if yeah. I'm reading yeah. that correctly. Well, all phones have this, <laughs> that I've seen no. have this feature. No, no. no. Some, In most cases. Looks like it might right, be one of those super low-power displays, like on uh, yes, that's Android. Yes, that's what I'm saying. can protect its battery life, but it will also protect your data. Here we go. At a whole new level. And the key is Knox. Is right here. Yep. Ah, fingerprint reader. There we go. Okay. Finger scanner uses your fingerprint as the ultimate password to validate your identity. Oh. What? It is encrypted. Requires a swipe. And yeah. never Not shared. a push. All it takes is a simple swipe of your finger to make secure payments. No need to key in your credit card number. You're showing a PayPal screen uh, on this. Or your mother's maiden So there's a little... Uh, thing on the screen that shows you where to start with your finger and then yeah. from there swipe down yeah. over the sensor. This is uh, how fingerprint readers in the Lenovo and other yeah. computers yeah. have worked in the past. Yeah. I, I, and if, I have and if, the, they are you, if they are letting you do stuff like uh, authenticate for PayPal, that is something that Apple is not doing It's not yet done, that's right. But would, but would they connect that to Google Wallet or is that something that they want to make sure you're going through a, a, a Samsung authorized uh, uh, transactor? If it's Google Wallet, that's that's Just pretty good. Now, I can carry it in my Galaxy S5. I will say that I found a secure way because I know I can only access it in private mode yeah. with this. This actually is a good idea. That's for mm -hmm. the security of my data. There's content that is stored now, in a private mode that can only be accessed with a fingerprint when swipe. Yep. They play with my phone. 
I've used I, I've used a couple of phones that have swipe based readers like a couple of years ago. I, I found them really convenient because you do have to now turn this into a very two handed sort of operation because you don't want to drop the damn thing. But I think uh, adding a private mode where you could say this is this requires a swipe, this does not, yeah. is a sensible way to handle that. There's a kid mode as well. Yeah. That's good. And design and designate other apps. Including games and videos. This is something anybody with kids will welcome I, because it's, right, right, that's how right. often do you hand the kid that, the phone in the back, back seat? Back seat to the car mode, yeah. so to speak. Yeah. These are some examples. It's encouraging the kid to want to take your phone, though. It's <laughs> that is true. I, I want a kid mode that simulates a battery dying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, huh. I'm sorry, yeah, honey. It's gosh. dead. Because that's the most effective way to get the phone away the, from when the, the kid. When the, batteries, right. when the battery's down to 20 percent, it only gives math problems. So somebody in the chat is saying that the uh, S4 Active was also uh, uh, the same uh, level of waterproof, 67. So as our mobile devices become extensions of ourselves, they need to support more of our life goals. It's a big deal if they make it their one central phone, though. Yeah. Fit. David Park is back on screen. Imagine being able to monitor, inform, and track Didn't your Didn't he have a jacket status. before? He's... Well, now we're going to show fitness, so he's stripped down for action. A wearable device. It's got one of the gear. This year, Gear 2 represents progress. We kept what was successful about Gear 1. We fixed customer pain points. And mm. then we added exciting new features Interesting that, they're that define the world the of yeah. wearing your innovation. The biggest pain point is that it's like three so quarters of an inch thick between your wrist yeah. and the top of the, of the device. And start with number one, which is wear the smart style. What? Design improvements in Keep, Gear 2 is were glam? made with simplicity <laughs> and chic in mind. Glam and, the and chic. are both beautiful and functional. We moved the camera, the speaker, and the mic onto the bezel. And why is that relevant to you? Because without wiring in the strap, you can swap them out. That's good. So at any time, place, <laughs> or occasion, Gear 2 can reflect your personal style. From lifting weights, to lifting wine glasses. Oh, there's <laughs> the strap comes or both at the same time. Colors, black, brown, and orange. And designer versions That's are a pain also point. available. <laughs> my pain and point you know is that this? those metal bands rip the hairs off of my wrist. Yeah. Or Literally a pain point. You're so unusually we added a hairy, button, so. Like the ones that we have on our smartphone. Well, I was built for winter warfare. <laughs> so whatever app you're using, you can always return to the home menu just by pressing this button. And you don't have to flick all the way back. Okay, that must the have been a customer The entire UX thing, is an evolution over the original, with the freedom to choose from different themes and applications. Keep coming back to this. It's very, very weird to have a whole we product have category that options, almost practically cannot be sold to women because yeah. it is so big and it's just and so clunky on a, on a woman's wrist. Yep. It's a basic conundrum. It's too big for most men to wear. I mean, in, in yeah, I mean, you got to be a little scenario. bit brave, but at least it's at least like something something like this Pebble Watch. At least it's within the realm of possibility. But something like the gear, you just have to say that. Yeah. Here's how. Here's 51 percent of the population is just probably not going to go for this just on the design. And I have the feeling that's where Apple's going to kill it. They're going to. I think that's why I think they're going for a band as opposed to something else because that 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 would they would find that intolerable. But with four gigabytes of memory... Right, so exactly. they're saying you could put music on the watch, leave the phone in the locker. So you just transfer your playlist yeah. onto your Gear 2, you four leave your phone behind. How, how much of this is refusing to see that the phone has a role and the watch has a phone versus the positive thing of saying that if we're charging hundreds of dollars for this thing, it better do something better than receive text messages right. and tell the time. The second is extended ecosystem. So Gear 2 was developed as part of our long-term vision. You had to have a, a Galaxy Note 4 or Note 3 or a Galaxy S4 to use it. The Gear 2 can independently connect to and control your television huh? and watch on remote because it has its own infrared LED. Hmm. That's interesting. <laughs> yep. There are also many so more now I could be, I could be like Buzz Lightyear with your TV set. <laughs> <laughs> you can lift weights, drink wine, and watch TV. What a watch. Entertainment. Will this watch fix our stifling and to marriage? And overall functionality, we're releasing Gear 2's SDK so developers like from around yep. the world yep. can easily create exciting new apps. 
That's one of the roughest things I think about Number Apple's three. approach to watch. I don't see them Number making it work with everything else. Choices. I don't see them making it easy to put apps on it. Gear two also comes and this is sort of like what Pebble is doing. Mm -hmm. So if you want a lighter version for yeah. your wrist and your wallet, Gear 2 Neo comes in black, gray, and orange. With regard to compatibility, Gear 1 and Note 3 were a great match. But with Gear 2, you'll be able to sync with 17 Galaxy devices. Hmm. I don't have four. 17 Galaxy Number devices. Four is enhanced battery. Gear 2 has a longer battery life. It's still just a Galaxy only party? Days. Yeah. Three days now. And that's mm -hmm. three times longer than our first gear. And five. I, I don't see that. As, I don't see that as a good strategic resistance. move. No. If you if you if someone is not a Samsung user, if they're an iPhone user, and you can get them to buy a Samsung watch, maybe their chances are better of getting them to buy a Samsung the next time. That's exactly yeah. right. Yeah. It could be a gateway drug like exactly. the iPod was. Yeah. And now's the time to do it when Apple doesn't have a competitor. So they cut the market in half with women. They cut the market by having requiring. So it's only men who have Galaxy devices. Samsung who also want a giant watch and haven't selected an alternative. They're da they've, they've narrowed themselves into a corner again. Now, this is the uh, new one, the uh, the thinner band we're going to see here. Measuring heart rate, obviously. Somebody's having a heart attack. This is the most interesting one. I think this one is yeah. probably going to be more popular. It does look like those mock-ups for the iWatch. Still pretty thick, but a yeah. lot more attractive, I think. But there, there, there's people who own jewelry that is that thick. Yeah. yeah. They, don't, they may not have a watch like that, but they own jewelry that's yeah. like that. This is the Gear Fit we're about to see. If they're smart, they'll make it usable even without connecting Gear to a smartphone. Gear Fit redefines the category. It's not like any health band out there. This is the world's first curved Super AMOLED touchscreen display on a wearable device. Oh, it has touch. That's cool in and of itself. Yeah, yeah look at yeah, that. that. That looks pretty cool. If that worked with an iPhone and I were an iPhone user, I'd be thinking, gee, maybe I should it's have one of those. A beautiful yep. look. Smart of Samsung Ford releases before any iWatch. Mm -hmm. Avoid uh, getting accused of copying. The gear yep. fit weighs in at 27 grams. It'd be appropriate for him to say, uh, can't innovate my ass at this point. Right. Of <laughs> I can innovate my wrist. <laughs> this is one of the problems. This weighs like about half the, of what the uh, Galaxy Gear 2 does, so it's, it is significantly lighter. Yeah, 27 grams is an, less than an ounce. Oh, wow, look. Ooh, it okay. pops out. Yep. I was about to say, I thought he's bending it. Yeah. <laughs> that would be cool. But the, So the curved uh, metal and glass component Separates. pops right out of the loose rubber band. Pops out band. Like, like a Fitbit does. So it's like, yeah, but a little bit, looks like a little bit nicer than a Fitbit. Yeah. <laughs> and, and if a foreign government knows that you've been taking pictures and spying, you can pop it out and swallow it. Yeah. <laughs> Again, with the uh, designer uh, straps, instant notifications. Is that you can stay up to date with instant notifications on your Gear Fit. Call well. reject. Alarm control, well, I think quick this message. Is, this is the first with your smartwatch device. I've thought yeah. might so have a shot. A call, I mean, a lot of watches alarm. work great if all they do is hook into the notification system of whatever phone you're using. Yep. And you'll be happy to know Gear Fit is compatible with 20 Galaxy devices. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. And it's more Galaxy devices. Why Gear not and everything? Gear Fit have a built-in heart rate sensor. That's the little camera so you device know how in the your back body is there. It's not a, it's, that's, I think that's great. No strap. Yep. By tracking your heart rate, the fitness, t fitness manager will tell you to slow down or speed up. Both, both gears have that. that <laughs> Even your day to day activity. New kind of malware. Measured by the built in pedometer. New, right, speed up, speed up. Malware and gear fit. It tries to kill you, Keep right? Track of right. How far you've walked like that day. Consumer, consumer version of the, point. uh, so this this is so going to be an expensive fit, watch, I would think. Yeah. Quite a team. We haven't mentioned price now, points on any of this yet. Now, since all gears interact with the S5, it's important to note that your fitness and health data is tracked and analyzed on the S5 by the, the all NSA. New S Health, our all-in-one fitness management solution. Additionally, data on exercise, nutrition, and weight can be included manually for even more accurate analysis of your health. So the, the processing of the data from the watch Galaxy is done on the S5 phone. comes with built-in yeah. support mm -hmm. 
for and or at least the logging and recording. So it can uh, communicate with various sports and fitness related accessories uh, that's good. for more intensive fitness Supports monitoring. Ant Plus. As part of S Health, you can download an app called Coach. I just can't get over the Samsung only limitation there. For reaching your fitness goals so in these five areas. I'll keep I'll keep an open mind, but oh wow, that just seems like such a well, it, it advantage Pebble, but it does more than it's, the Pebble. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll, rem I'll remember that Samsung is the best-selling Android phone out there. They've got a huge international audience. Still, it's kind of disappointing. That's two hundred million customers, according to the figure they shared earlier. That's yeah. right. Now you might think that this right here, minus the people uh, who look, have look other how, watches, look, minus look, all look, the women. Hey, look how bent and dimply that back is. Yeah, I know. It looks yeah. really. It looks really like bad. hell. Mm -hmm. Yeah, looks like it's been dropped a few times. Or, or let me let me let me listen here. This sounds like he says there's a heart rate sensor on the phone as well. Yeah, there is. Yep. So we've seen apps that allow you to do that with the camera on the iPhone and others. Through the red light, it reads your heart rate. And this is the centerpiece of the new S Health. But when are you going to use it? So yeah. better design. going to stop what you're doing, take this out, and put your finger up here. Oh, that's just, and health. Okay. It's not, better than not having it. to the elements, a cool new curve, interaction across devices, I and the world's a market first for, HR uh, sensor in a smartphone. Purchase all an supported S5 by a plus coach one of these who won't watches. give up on you. Sure, but I'd, I'd say We've so. We've worked just... out the workout, ladies and gentlemen. Now that's fitness. So, those of us in this conversation, we like to see technology moving forward in an entirely new category just become relevant. And so we're we're all collectively hoping for the sort of wearable device that will do that, right? And my, I'm disappointed because I don't think this is going to be that device that's going to do that. It could be very, very useful for a lot of people, but... And if you enjoy listening to music... It looks cool, but not transcendently cool so far. Right. It's it's it, when I I think about when I'm writing a review or writing my piece tonight about this when I'm saying I want people to people are going to wonder do they want to have this and would this make sense for them and I find it hard to say here's why it would make sense for you to buy this yeah and and they could they could have a huge advantage with the with the uh, software development with the SDK and all that stuff but then limiting it to Galaxy means that nobody's going to want to develop for it. Right? And then like Andy says the, the main concern with any cool looking Samsung product is. Sometimes they look way more cool in the demo than they do in real life. Okay. They're, they're not so great at software interfaces. So they've introduced usually. a rewards program of some kind here, the Galaxy Gifts. One, style with a modern glam look. Oh, it went over it, so. Two, better <laughs> I'm sorry. pictures I just keep, with Every time he says that, I see Ziggy, Ziggy Stardust yeah. with a gear watch. That's all. More time to live life with the fastest network. Four, a device protected for your lifestyle. And five, proactive health so you can stay fit. Everyone, it's been a pleasure to introduce you, our new family of devices. I hope that you've enjoyed. Yep, they're wrapping it up. Good Under on Samsung. An hour. Under an hour, that's a good sign. <laughs> They didn't give us much about the presentation Thank itself to overshadow right. the announcements. Right. And that's, that's good. The gear two. And the I was really, really, really the terrified summary. they were going to be rolling in like a stage set. I know. Yeah. Now to show you how it worked. I think they've bent over back. First of all, after the uh, S4 launch, they'll never do anything too goofy again. And after Michael Bay, they'll never invite anybody on stage yeah. who they don't control. Yeah. Well, after that, after that awful Galaxy Gear ski lift commercial, you know, maybe they haven't learned quite so much. Or maybe they, they, <laughs> some people haven't picked up the email yet. Embracing change and enabling it. The heart rate sensor on the back of the phone sounds, it's like one of those classic Samsung things where they, yeah, exactly. they could do it, so they did it. We got one of those. You want one of those? We got one of those. People are reporting that when they announced it, they paused for applause, and it was just dead silence in the room. It's been a pleasure. JD, Barcelona, the world. Till next time. So they're having another event tomorrow. They'll talk more about security and knocks there. I presume more about the fingerprint uh, reader. Um, they mentioned briefly uh, Samsung Sound Premium headphones uh, that work with Knox along with Google Mobile Service. And uh, I don't still know what the gifts thing was. Samsung Galaxy gifts. But I, probably... I gotta say, I gotta apologize a little bit for the snark earlier on. Because okay, it was a cleaner presentation, a shorter presentation. I've just, I've just been hurt so many times by Samsung presentations. I was expecting it's to be a well, lot. Worse. And I'm also wondering if this is a standard that Mobile World Congress sets. I mean, I think yeah. there's a lot of people there. There's a lot to do.
Yeah, and a yeah. four-hour presentation, including Broadway performances, would right. not be welcome. People, I mean, every, every, everybody in that room, their time is on the meter. Yeah. yeah. So if you waste somebody, you can sort of get away with filling Radio City Music Hall where there's nothing going on for the rest of the day. It's on, it's on its own day, not an event. But this would have been a, this would have been a larger problem. So if you're just joining us, we've just finished the Galaxy, or sorry, Samsung's Unpacked Five Mobile World Congress press event in which they announced. Not a bunch of new phones, but one right. new phone. That's right. Galaxy S5. That's right. And it had uh, pretty much stuck to the rumors. It had a yeah. fingerprint sensor. It had a great camera. The photography aspects of it sound promising to me. Yeah. Uh, the focus and, and all the things, the high-quality uh, camera. It had that super high-quality lens look to it. We uh, didn't. What we didn't see is a whole bunch of things like golf mode and right. all of those weird modes that they really made a, a big deal about the last time with the S4. That's right. right. They may be there, but they didn't talk about them. That's right, and that's promising you know, as well. You notice one thing, though. They really did very little more than simply read through the rumors that we already had. That's right. When you see an Apple keynote, we may know already it's going to be thinner. We may all know, know already there's going to be a fingerprint sensor. But they will spend that 15 minutes not telling you something you already know, but showing you here is how we've implemented this and here's why we think this is going to move a lot of phones. There were a lot of features, there, especially the durability and the submersibility, that I thought were really terrific mm -hmm. that they kind of undersold it. This fingerprint sensor also undersold it. Mobile payments, which is a universal universal pain point uh, and something that could be solved very easily by phones. They said they had it, but they didn't really show it off or sell it. But they so, did show PayPal, which I think is yeah. significant. I mean, they show they showed PayPal, but did they should tell us exactly how that's going to work? Right. Look, for instance, for instance, one possibility, if you're just going from that, is PayPal is going to be the transactor for every mobile payment that you make through this phone, at which point that would suck because I don't right. like PayPal and right. I, I don't I don't trust right. it. I will trust Google Wallet. If I could, if they're doing like a, a digital billfold where I can, if they're an open API where I can install my own transactor that I want, a Square, for instance, reader would be great. Spec-wise, 5.1-inch display. It'll be running 4.4 KitKat, of course. 16-megapixel mm -hmm. camera with some nice features, 2 gigs of Did RAM. Did they mention the resolution free. of the screen? They said HD 1080p, I believe. So nothing astonishing, it sounds no, like. I, that's actually good news. The, the rumors that they were going to do a super high-res display just... Make no sense. Did they, did they mention the resolution of the video camera? Uh, is it 1080 or 4K? I bet it's 1080. They you know, the, they, have, they have 4K capability in the Note 3. I'd be surprised if this is any less than what's available on the Note 3. Mm -hmm. um, waterproof to an IP67 rating. That means three feet of water at 30 minutes. Uh, 802.11 AC with MIMO. Bluetooth LE, USB 3. This is all kind of stuff that was in the Note mm -hmm. 3. NFC, uh, an IR port. That's kind of interesting. Uh, they had that in the Note, the S4 and the Note 3 as well. You could control a TV. And uh, a 2,800 milliamp hour removable uh, battery, yep. which is fairly hefty. But again, until you, you try it, you don't know. And it, also a mode where it, as the battery gets low, it goes into the super low power mode that keeps it alive as long as you don't use it for 24 yeah. hours. Made a big deal about new perforated backs from uh, a, a, a variety of designers. The replaceable back is really something very customizable and easily cheaply customized so that makes yep. a lot of sense um no word though about whether what touch Wiz changes to touch Wiz. it looked on the on the phone it looks exactly like touch Wiz, but uh it's hard to say we'd have to take a look at the uh the they did apps. spend a little time talking about the revamped uh little, little improvements to the home screen yeah round icons round icons yeah that does look a little in the different. settings that's in the settings mode but that's still little interesting um but in general there was way less about software stuff than you typically expect mm -hmm. in a, a samsung yeah. keynote that's what made those other that the s phone no, keynote so long was demonstrating yeah. those sam's uh, that's right software features it's, it's also kind of interesting yeah. to to wonder if the reason why we're seeing uh round icon round application icons is that that's already a way to brand the difference between here are apps you got from samsung versus here are apps you got from any place else to sort of start to transition people into re recognizing you're in Samsung space, you're not in Google space, and Samsung space is a better place to be as far as their story goes. Uh, so no price mentioned, but I think that's just an acknowledgement that this is a high-end phone, so it's yep, going to yep. be at the standard high-end price. They also like the fact that there's a heart rate monitor in the back. That's We saw that flash looked a little odd. That's what that second part of the right. flash is. That's right. It's very weird to use the flash as the heart rate yeah. monitor, very, very strange. Put it right up underneath the camera. That's just awkward and weird. 
I think well, that's the, the, a mistake. The only positive I can think about it is that if you really are getting into the mode where you're using your apps on your phone as a data collection point to track your fitness, it sucks that you have to stop what you're doing to take out this phone, but at least it will collect that data point so that after you complete your workout, you can have that point on the graph. And uh, for some people who are not really loving uh, going out for long walks and bike rides, at least you have a graph you can look at. This is not a 64-bit phone. It's going to run on the Snapdragon 805 at 2.5 gigahertz, but that's plenty fast. And yep. I don't see a compelling reason to have 64 bits in a phone anyway. I, I love the adjectives they put in front of the color options. Shimmery white. That's very glam. Very <laughs> glam uh, sounding thing. Copper gold. But it's still plastic. Uh, yep. you know, Unapologetically. Plastic. Yep. Now, the other big announcement, I think maybe even arguably a bigger announcement, is three new Gear watches. They've dropped the Galaxy in the name. There's the Gear Neo, which is somewhat, I guess, like last year's Galaxy right. Gear. There's the Gear 2, uh, which uh, has new features. Uh, and But the one that's most interesting to me is the Gear Fit. That's the right. curved mm -hmm. Super AMOLED band. The way I see this is that the, 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 that the uh, Gear watches are... Minor upgrades to the old one. Maybe they're more usable for some people. And, of course, the, that, the previous uh, product bombed in the market, uh, had massively high return rates. Uh, and then the uh, Fit version is going to be probably the highest of the high end of these bracelet-type watches. It's got a really, looks like a very nice screen. It's a curved uh, touchscreen, very slick, kind of thrilling to look when he demoed it. it was, I, got, I got kind of a... A, a good feeling about it because of the way the curved look when he was scrolling yeah. through the the thing. It looks so this good. Is a, it's a cool watch, but you know what? I'm not. You know, I use a Moto X. If they, I, I might buy this. But you'd have to buy a but Galaxy exactly, phone. Exactly, and it's probably not. That's probably not going to happen. With Gal non Galaxy phones, won't work with the iPhone. Right. Uh, they did add memory to the Gear Two, which means you can at least use it standalone uh, to listen to music. You can transfer music from your phone to the Gear Two. Yep. Uh, for those of you who are not aware, the Apple Store sells iPods for forty dollars now. <laughs> uh, or have never been to a CVS pharmacy where you can buy them for eight dollars. And the real focus on uh, two things: fitness mm -hmm. uh, and throughout the line. Uh, that's something that's been coming, but uh, but I think they've kind of integrated it now totally. Yep. And security, right. uh, the fingerprint reader, Knox, um, both of those uh, mean. Uh, this are, these are going to be more secure phones. One bandwagon they didn't seem to jump on, which other companies seem to be uh, uh, doing, is to optimize the selfie experience to improve the cameras mm -hmm. for taking pictures of yourself. Which how is do really they do that? Better cameras. Yeah. You know, better and, front, and other front facing cameras. Or? Better front facing cameras, and yeah. and uh, they didn't mention anything like that. No. Um, or a camera that flips around from back to front. Right. <laughs> they also didn't, they also didn't talk about uh, motion sensors, which is something that every major keynote seems to be part of. They talk about the discrete CPU they have just to give that phone awareness of its environment and what you're doing with it. Although, again, it, 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 seemed, as, it seemed as though they had, they had devices that were doing stuff just by virtue of the fact being pulled out of pockets. Although that, that doesn't require a lot of uh, hardware support. Right. Yeah, I mean, it sounds like they don't have anything equivalent to the M7 and the yeah. iPhone. I have to say that, the, to me, the, the de determining factor in whether I would consider using this phone is crapware, is the amount of junk that Samsung larded onto the S4 and the Note 3. Yeah. And I have both phones, and I just can't use them because right. there's so much stuff on there. There was very little available space on the 16 gigabyte S4 because there was so much Samsung stuff, yeah. unremovable. Yeah. And they didn't address that. But on the other hand, one thing that gives me hope is they also didn't talk about all these new features. That's right. So maybe, that, maybe we're going to see a leaner. At least maybe they're ways. ashamed of them. That would be a good <laughs> That's a start. turn of events. A little shame be, would be a good start. It would be fascinating if they not only didn't add even more of that stuff, but actually stripped away some of what they had, which yep. I what hope did, they do. What did their agreement with Google stipulate? That they would... It was pretty vague. We don't... Yeah, we don't yeah. really know. <laughs> they did say it, something. Yeah. It, was, yeah. it was an agreement in principle, but there was no details. Yeah. And, and I was talking to people afterward about it. Uh, uh, and no one could, no one, in, no one internal could tell me anything about it, even hint, hint. So, and I but, mean, if that agreement happened as, as soon as you know a month ago, these products were already far enough into yeah, their yeah, cycle right. that you probably wouldn't see the result of that. For key a while. thing to note, though, is the reason you do touch Wiz and all of these additional features is to distinguish your Android phone from every other Android phone. And in some respects, I think Samsung has declared victory. We, we, they, they know that they are the flagship Android mm -hmm. phone. They do have enough features just with the watch and with the health aspects, the, the fingerprint reader, the heart rate monitor built into the phone. Maybe they don't need all of that extra software. Yeah. I don't, There's a place Samsung for Samsung is the single most important company in the Android ecosystem. Google is number two. I, I feel pretty strongly about that. Yeah. Uh, so they have one. So they can declare victory.
Yep. Yeah. And, and maybe take some of this crap out. And Samsung has gone to great lengths to build sort of incubator type things in New York City and Silicon Valley to sort of cultivate an app ecosystem that's Samsung specific. And I don't know if they're backing off, off on that. They probably aren't. Um, they didn't. Did they say the word Android at any point in this announcement? No, I don't think so. I don't think they did. That's, no. Yeah, that's kind of what they do now, or rather, yeah. what they don't do now. Yeah. Their, pre their presentation. Nokia said they, the word they Android a lot, <laughs> and that's yeah. kind of surprising. Nokia said Android a lot more than Samsung said. Android. Do we they, know they, what they operating did. system the Fit Watch is running on? I don't think we do. We know the other one is Tizen. I would, ass yeah. I would assume it's Tizen. I would guess. We'll see. It's a good guess, but we don't know. I mean, they did they even mention the word Tizen during the they presentation? Did not. And well, you. Not. And will, uh, if you're ever known or whoever, will you be able to write one app that runs on a gear and on the fit? Yeah, who knows? Probably not. Think, different screen resolutions. Well, but maybe with two different screen form factors, but the, the, the back end being the same. There is, uh, there's the, the curve uh, in action. Uh, yeah, see, look how big that is. Uh, on a woman's wrist, I, it does stick out a little bit. It juts out. That's not a wear it, wear it everywhere every single day thing. That is a wear it only during this activity and have to explain a lot about this. That no, no, I have not been sentenced to a drug and alcohol treatment control program. I don't have to wear this every day as a condition of my parole. This does is actually look right. like that house arrest ban. <laughs> like, it, uh, if that woman is doing, uh, uh, you know, doing fitness uh, as I walk through the gym and she clocks me in the face, I'm done for. Yeah. Yet, yeah, I, 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 it's a, this easily the most attractive fitness watch yep. we've seen. I mean, there's nothing come yeah, close, even right. the Pebbles. Code, so. code name, lo, the code name, the, lo, the Lohan. <laughs> well, I, I'm grateful to Samsung for keeping us, uh, keeping this uh, uh, on, in the, on point, 45 minutes, less than an hour. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. Um, I, I, uh, the, Didn't know they were capable of they that. They scared us with the symphony <laughs> orchestra or the chamber orchestra. That but was it was terrifying. It was okay. And I think they announced some uh, decently compelling products. Yep. yep. You but will continue to cover Mobile World Congress all week. We shall. We shall. And there's a lot more coming. There's a lot that has been happening in the last couple of hours, in fact. Yep. So, uh, yeah, we'll be covering it heavily all week. Uh, TN2 in the evening with Sarah Lane, 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern Time, uh, 2300 UTC. That's... Certainly one way to find out what's going on in the afternoon and every morning at 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern Time, 1800 UTC, TNT with Mike Elgin. Uh, we thank you for joining us for our special coverage of the Samsung Galaxy Unpacked, or Samsung Unpacked 5 event. Thank you, Andy Yanaka. We'll see, see you uh, back here uh, on Tuesday for Mac Break Weekly. Great to have you. Also in the Chicago Sun-Times and the Technologizer, Harry McCracken from Time Magazine. Great to have you as well. Talk to you soon, guys. Techland.time.com. Thanks for joining us. That concludes our coverage of Samsung's Unpacked 5 event at Mobile World Congress. Take care.